in this video, I want to have another look at conservation of linear momentum. Conservation of linear momentum is, as we know, a law of conservation and therefore follows the standard form of what I have at the end. This is what I had at the beginning. Plus or minus the change. In the case of momentum, this means that my p final vector is my p initial vector plus the impulse, which is the change. So if you only have one object on which some impulse is applied, this will translate into mass times velocity final is mass times velocity initial plus force times time. If I take the velocity on one side, I get mass times v final minus v initial is equal to force times time. Now my difference in velocity, I could rewrite this as delta v, And now let me just divide by the time, so I have mass times delta v over delta t is force. Now what is change of velocity over time? That is acceleration. Doesn't that look very familiar? It should, because this is nothing else than force net equals m times a which is Newton's second law of motion. So, conservation of linear momentum not only is a classical conservation law, it actually also includes Newton's second law of motion into it. Now you might think, or now you might ask yourself, does it include Newton's first law of motion as well? Yeah, of course it does. If acceleration is zero, then the net force will be zero. Or if the net force on the object is zero, then there is no acceleration. Therefore, an object at rest will remain at rest, and the object in motion will continue in motion until an unbalanced force is acted upon. What about Newton's third law? Well, Newton's third law also applies. Like Newton's third law said, if I had a force of object 1 on object 2, then the force of object 2 on object 1 must be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. Well, the same thing applies to the impulse. If one object is exerting an impulse on another, then that other object is exerting an impulse on the first object with opposite direction but same magnitude. So, linear momentum, a law of conservation, that includes Newton's laws of motion.